Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. My name is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International. We meet at the Trade Fair at the Clive Cathedral and bringing you matters of faith with graphic online. In 2 Kings chapter 7 from verse 2 to 12, there is a powerful story over there. There is a very powerful story over there. And the story is, there was a great famine in the land and in the days of Elisha. And the famine was so terrible that the Bible says people began to even eat their own babies. People were eating their own children and cooking their babies and eating them. That was the nature of the famine. The famine was so gross. The famine was so terrible. And I mean, there was so much hunger for a woman to give birth and eat her own child. That should show you the levels that people had sunk into. But guess what? In those days, uh, when the king heard that this was what was going on, he was angry and he called for Elisha. And when he came, Elisha looked at the king and then made a very profound, if you ask me, very dangerous statement. He said, listen, tomorrow by this time. God is going to do this. God is going to... And tomorrow by that time, he prophesied abundance. He prophesied a relief. He prophesied a release. They were in terrible times. They were in dangerous times. And then a prophet comes and then he says, look here, look beyond today and see into tomorrow. Nothing. Weeping may endure for an evening or a night, but joy comes with the morning light. What you see today, there is a tomorrow. And tomorrow, by this time, the story will be different. The pain of today, the challenge of today, the issues of today, the problems of today. I am looking for it to, to tomorrow. You think I'm going to settle in COVID-19? I'm looking for it for life beyond COVID-19. That is a surety. And that was what Eli Elisha came to say. He said, tomorrow, by this time. What he was saying, that what you see today will become history tomorrow. No situation is permanent and every situation has a lifespan of its own. It is best before a particular period. I've, I've said that already. But more than that, for me, more than that, the Bible said immediately Elijah prophesied that something big is about to happen. Guess what? The Bible says there was a man upon whom, whose shoulder the king leans upon. And the title of today's message is Dangerous Shoulders. Leaning on Dangerous Shoulders. And that man was a lord. The man was a, a big man. Ubuntia. Top man. Udai Udai in the palace of the king. And guess what? He made a profound statement. He said, if God, if even God were to open the windows of heaven, it, it is impossible. Listen, there would always be people around you who would say it's impossible. There would always be people about you who do not believe that tomorrow by this time. There would always be that people. We can't help it. They are there. The most daunting thing is when, where they are, where they sit. And the Bible says, he was the man upon whose shoulder the king leans. So the king draws support from him. The king draws strength and stability from him. That's what the Bible said. And look at what he said. He said, this is impossible. If God were to open the windows of heaven, do you know the size of the windows of heaven? Do you know how big the windows of heaven look? And you... We'll get up and say, if God were even to open the windows of heaven, it is impossible. With man, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. And my principle for today is after he had made that statement, the day the breakthrough came, the day the thing became a manifestation, when they told the king, that king, the people have run away, the enemy has run away, there's food in abundance, there's gold, there's this thing. Look at what the king said. The king said, hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. This thing is not real. 
This thing is not true. This thing is not a fact. It is a trap. What am I trying to say? The shoulder upon which you lean is going to determine what you say. That man was speaking faithlessness. That man was speaking fear. That man was speaking confusion. That man was speaking status quo. That where we are now, nothing can change. That man was saying those things. Doubt and unbelief. And unfortunately, at the time, when it was time for manifestation, the king began to repeat the same thing. That this is impossible. It is not truth. What you fellowship around is what you become. If you surround yourself with fear-filled people, faithless people, who do not believe in tomorrow, who are not looking for it for tomorrow, you would also be feasting on the table of disappointment and depression and be feasting at the table of failure. The man upon whom the king, the man that the king fellowships around, he was speaking faithlessness. And so the king also started talking faithlessness. What you fellowship around is what you become. Sometimes you need to discharge yourself. That's why God said to Abraham, leave there of the Chaldees. I've seen good people, the confession of good people transformed into negatives. I've seen people who have not even sat down to analyze the validity of the, of the lies being spoken. But because they fellowship around them, they've imbibed those lies and they believe the lie to be truth. Are you God? When God said the windows are going to, if God opens the window, you, can you contain it? Do you even have the container? Do you know what it means to open this thing? If he opens one window, the flood of Noah can happen. No. Do you know what the size of his window? Hey, babe, do you know the size of his window? But guess what? He was there saying, if he were even to open the windows of heaven, this is impossible. With man, it is impossible. With God, all things are possible. Tomorrow, by this time, we'll be smiling. But watch the person you fellowship around. Negativity breeds negativity. Change your environment and you will see what will happen. Discharge yourself from the company of faithlessness. God bless you. See you next time.